هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on esti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karis amenos. Good morning, everybody. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. B BTS vlog. Not vlog, there's only, only one vlog here. In this, uh, uh, in this video. In this sort in this vlog, Insta, so Insta vlogs is plural because there's more than one vlog inside the Insta vlog. Here, there's only one vlog, and that's the behind the scenes vlog, right? The BTS vlog. So, um, where are we now? We're on the time and date stamp. We need that, right? We need the time and date stamp. It is four hours and six minutes into the day of Sunday, May. Uh, 18th, 2000 and 2014. Yeah, uh, it's May. It's actually near the end of May, and it's just about zero. It's just about uh, freezing outside. It's about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, a little bit above of that. Uh, not much above it, but uh, <laughs> so it still gets kind of cold here. We are at, we're experiencing uh, an Arctic system. That's why it's so cold. We have an Ar Arctic. Uh, system coming down from the north, actually from the northwest, that uh, sort of causing oh. all this cold. Um, if you've been, uh, if you're uh, sort of watching, you watch this, uh, you're watching this vlog, you may, you may be asking yourself what happened to uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and fr Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There's a chunk of days missing. Well, as I said before, I, I, I'd always say good morning. And I didn't say good morning now, and I should say Christos Anesti, because it's still within the period of Christos Anesti. So, Christos, Christos Anesti. So, there it is. Uh, but I didn't say good morning because it's not morning for me. I'm not just getting up and getting started. Uh, sometime around Wednesday, Wednesday, going into the Wednesday, third, Wednesday third, Thursday period, uh... My sleep was just compl thrown completely out of whack. It, I don't have right now. I'm in a situation right now where I don't have a bedtime and I don't have a uh, a uh, a wake up time. The time when I'm, when I'm awake. There's no one specific time. It's fluctuating. Ooh. And it's fluctuating to the point that uh, it's been thrown into complete chaos. So my body doesn't know whether it's supposed to be awake or it's supposed to be asleep. And that causes a lot of problems. And it, for the vlogging, because I don't know whether I'm supposed to be awake or I'm asleep, sometimes I get up to have a snack because I'm hungry and I stay up. And I stay up for a couple hours. And then I'm tired again so I go back to bed. But I can only sleep for three, three four hours. Then I get up again. And... That's kind of the way the way it's been, and and oddly enough, even in that period there, uh, it was I think it was between Thursday and Friday, I ended up putting in uh, a twenty hour day. Uh, on, you know, th between Thursday and Friday, I put in a twenty hour day, which f further complicated the sleep problem, my sleep problems. So, uh, I said I don't really know where I am in, in, or where I'm supposed to be in terms of my sleep. I don't know whether, whether this is morning or night, so I can't say good night or good morning because I don't know, I, I really don't know that. Um, so, I'm just kind of going with flow and uh, in a couple hours, actually, let's see, uh, it's uh, 4 o'clock now, thereabouts, uh, at about, uh, I think, uh, 7.30, three and a half hours, I'll be going to church, 
maybe because uh, I didn't vlog a lot, I'm missing a couple days of vlog, I might try to vlog in church. I'll try to see how that goes. Uh, I'm not really too sure because, uh, again, there are other people around and uh, if you're not, they're not used to vlogging or not used to what you're doing, then uh, there are issues that kind of pop up uh, as that occurs. So I'll see what happens. I'll see how it ends up working out. And then we'll go from there. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network is coming along very well. I do have uh, a number of shows that are in the editing bay. I'm working on the graphics as we speak. Once the graphics are done, then uh, everything will be finally edited and then pushed up to the internet. So you will see more uploads this week. Uh, other than just simply the BTS vlog. Uh, and it's, it, it, I'm trying to sort of maintain some degree of schedule for the episodes. And because I am working on uh, working on a number of episodes for a number of different shows, uh, instead of pushing out in my announcements, that instead of announcing one show, I, I announce the, uh, the release of episodes, the new episodes, uh, in the uh, in the sort of the pushing out of the uh, the announcement that, go that goes out to everybody uh, as to what's going on. So I've changed that up. I've, re I've readjusted some of the hashtags, and uh, yeah, we'll be moving along on that. I haven't got to sit down and, and sort of make sure all the channels are aligned. I have to finish the the channel alignment for the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network it has to be done. Either today or tomorrow, I should get that done uh, to do the channel alignment to get make sure all the channels are properly lined up uh, and noted. Then once that's done, uh, things will start moving along fast. In other words, there are some odds and ends that still have to be cleaned up. We are actually operating in network mode now for Cyborg Alpha TV network, but it's not in a it's not finalized in the point yet. It's not to the point yet where we can fully present everything. And that's going to, the, the first bit will come out this week as we're talking, and you'll start seeing this move along week after week. More of the network will be presented, more of the content on the network will be presented as well, and we will get in, slowly move into, by June, we will be into a full production schedule. Uh, and so that's, I think that will be a good thing to, to do. Uh, I, I think it's an achievable goal, and I'm certainly going to work on it as such. Uh, as for the Kitchen Diner and for the uh, BT, for the uh, Beauty and the Geek, uh, the Kitchen Diner will more likely not I'll shoot an episode. The, the first test episode uh, will be shot this week. I'll be shooting, actually today, as we're speaking, right after this, I'm going to shoot an episode for Beauty and the Geek. There'll be some, some announcements there as well. And then from the uh, from there, I have a couple more. Uh, I have a, uh, one more Insta vlog to do for the AP Space Channel. AP Space vlog has to be done. And we'll go from there. Anyways, uh, our time is now more or less up. I will see you... If I'm able to vlog in church, I'll see you within about uh, three and a half hours, four hours. We'll go from there and then uh, work our way on out. All right. Take it easy. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah. It's time for that segment of the BTS vlog, and I've been neglectful again in <laughs> doing the BTS vlog because in in doing the, the vlog it, it, I try to do one every morning but if more, the morning disappears and I don't have a morning and that's been happening over the last uh, last week or so there's been no morning then vlogging becomes uh, somewhat of a, a, a difficult task because you don't know when to vlog uh, because again, there's no morning, but we are here. We're at somewhat of a morning, anyways. Uh, I just got up, so let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 
four hours and 16 minutes into the day of Tuesday, May 20th, uh, 2014. Let me say, because we're still within the Pascha period, that we can say, Christos Tenesti, so Christos Tenesti, uh, for those out there who are still celebrating uh, Pascha. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many of you are out there. I don't know how many of you are actually watching, so... <laughs> Uh, the numbers are improving. I must say that we are now uh, above the 120 mark. I think we're now marching towards 125. We're doing, uh, 125, 130. That's our sort of where we're heading. That's our next goal is to get to 130. Um, we're at about we're, 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 we we uh, we bottom out at six views and we top out at. Uh, about 15 views. So, you know, it's, things are improving. I mean, uh, uh, last year this time, uh, we were still below 100. Uh, I had the views were, I think, three or four, not even. So <laughs> it was basically myself and a couple of other people watching in terms of how they were counting the views. So. You know, it was a bit of a challenge. It was, you know, it wasn't, it, you know, things are better than they were before. But the thing is that when you're trying to put together a PBS channel, and if people tell you, you know, if you watch these videos on how to create a YouTube channel, they tell you to do something popular. It's about being popular. But if you're producing something that's like, like, like PBS, but PBS is not popular, then your numbers are going to be a struggle. It's not going to be easy to produce the numbers that you want. Uh, so, or you think you want, or, or, uh, or you think you're supposed to have, so. So anyway, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, the filming issues in terms of production have been more or less resolved. Now we're on to resolving problems on the editing bay, uh, getting things through the editing bay. Uh, the particular issues are when you're dealing with, uh, uh, videos that have a number of graphics that have to be included in, in them. These are problematic in terms of how you do the editing because it adds time to the editing desk. And this is where you can end up with a backlog of work and uh, <laughs> things get stuck on the editing bay. So that's where the next goal is to now is to work up the schedule on the editing bay, get things sort of uh, worked out so that we can produce a lot better on the editing bay uh, so the editing bay is backed up, but I am not going to allow this to, uh, to be, uh, that much of an impedance and that much of an obstacle. And what I'm saying is that, uh, I'm going to keep filming. I have a schedule to film this week. I'm going to be doing a lot more filming this week. And it doesn't matter if it backs up on the editing bay. You know, I'll eventually work out the problems on the editing bay and they'll start, you know, the shows will start to come out. So that's kind of how I'm going to work this out is that do the work, do the filming, uh, have the work there stuff, you know, you know, piling up on the editing bay. And then as I get the routine on the editing bay, just the way I got the routine here filming into a good pattern, then things will start flowing out on a regular basis. So. Uh, or coming out on a regular basis, so <laughs> uh, so that's 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 kind of where we're at right now. I've got uh, another, I've got a Ubuntu Beast to use to tell the film this week. I've got another Beauty and the Geek to film this week. Well, one is already at the editing bay. Uh, I have a Cyborgs of Cybernetics to film this week. Uh, that's that's bringing that show back again. I'm going to be doing a test uh, shoot. Uh, for the kitchen diner, uh, the sort of a test uh, episode for the kitchen diner will be done this week as well. Mm, what else is there? Um, I think that that's about it for that. I, I think that that's what we're going to do for now. There is more, but I can't remember exactly what there is that I have left to do. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm bring I'm working on a news channel. I had started a news channel a couple of years ago just as a test project to see if it would work, and it did work out pretty well. And so I'm bringing that back again too. So uh, you'll start to see. In other words, the channel as I talk about the Cyborg Alpha TV network that's going to be expanding, that's going to be growing. 
Uh, you can sort of look for all these different things. Anyways, uh, our time is now up. I know it's short, but maybe I'll make up from someplace else. Anyways, I'll see you in a bit. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. <clears throat> Let's get started right away with a time and date stamp. It is 4 hours and 55 minutes into the day of Wednesday, May 21st, 2014. And now that we've caught our breath and uh, <laughs> calmed ourselves down so that I can enunciate properly and not slur through my words. Uh, we can get started. <laughs> um, things are coming along. Things are coming along. You know, uh, it is going to take a bit of time to get the editing bay for the new shows working out. The new uh, the new episodes coming out for for, diff for the different shows. That's going to take some time to do. I think it's going to take the rest of the week to really. I think it's going to take the rest of the week to really sort of get all the kinks worked out to, to to correct all the mistakes already new stuff is starting to come out uh and you'll start seeing over the next week or so a change to cyborg alpha tv network uh well let's see the, the change is going to be to cyborg alpha tv cyborg alpha tv is going to uh, slowly but surely start moving to cyborg alpha tv network and as this change occurs you'll start seeing more and more content coming out uh but again because when you're watching uh, Cyborg Alpha TV, uh, you're, I, I, I'm not hiding things from you. You're going to see all the things as they go on, and this includes some of the mistakes. Uh, upload them. So you can see everything that goes on behind the scenes here. You're not going to be, uh, you know, nothing's going to be hidden from you. Uh, so that's that's kind of the way you should sort of, sort of look at this. You're seeing the raw behind the scenes stuff. Uh, TV shows more often than not before they get into their... Uh, to their uh, main work before they get on air. There's almost two years worth of development. There's uh, test shots. There's there's test episodes. Uh, they work things. They rework things. Um, uh, they'll do test episodes to see how they like something. And if they don't like something, they'll pull something out. And even once they get into the season, right? Even when they get into the se season one, and season one is two years later. Uh, they're still tweaking things. They'll, season after season, they'll still tweak things. They'll still adjust things. They'll still change things to try to make the show better, or to, or, or to deal with different situations that are uh, that are, are, are that are occurring or popping up. That where before they were doing one thing one way, uh, an obstacle came along and blocked that path. So now they have to work around it and find another way to get that sort of either the same thing done or something similar to it. So that uh, there isn't that much of a change in the show itself, but sometimes they just change up things completely. Uh, they'll change locations. They'll change uh, different cast members. Uh, <laughs> one season you'll have uh, a, a cast member there, and then the second season the cast member is, is a completely different person, <laughs> you know, or they'll disappear altogether. I mean, that, that's happened on a number of shows. We you know, were watching before, you know, watching a sitcom and. You know, there's this person on, on the sitcom there, and oh, you're looking for looking for them, looking for them, and then all of a sudden they start disappearing, and they pop up on another TV series, and <laughs> that person is not necessarily written out of the out of the show in the, in, in the original series, but they're just never talked about or filmed anymore. They're sort of you know forgotten about and dropped. Uh, other times you'll have characters in a show. Um, who will be played by one person one time, and then the next season, there'll be a completely different person in there. And it's not as if you have a person who is uh, of the same color or looks the same. You can have two totally different people playing the exact same part. And they expect, as part of the, the whole thing with all the magic of TV or the magic of the movies, is that you'll believe this change, you'll ignore the differences, and accept what, you know, that... This is the character, and this has always been the character, even though uh, she wasn't, or she or he or wasn't there from the beginning. <laughs> so, uh, is it, a lot of this stuff is what you're seeing now. You're seeing a lot of behind the scenes. 
Uh, there is a, you know, there's an enormous amount of failure. A lot of it is, is uh, trial and error, if you notice. And the thing is, if you're afraid to fail, if you're afraid to make that first flub, uh, then more often than not, that's when you're going to quit. As soon as you stop willing, as soon as you're not, as soon as you stop uh, accepting failure as part for the course, as normal, uh, then that's when you start quitting. That, and that's and that's the only time when you really the only time you really fail is when you quit. Is if you can per persevere through things, and I'm not talking about bad things. I'm, you know, bad things that are for you, bad things, you know, really really harmful things. But I'm talking about uh, difficulties in comparison. If you will allow difficulties to stop you from, uh, and we view difficulties in many in many ways. Uh, as bad things, but let's call them difficulties for now. If we allow difficulties to uh, be our impedance, the things that the thing the thing that stops us, then we're going to have a problem because we're never going to be happy life. Because we look at something and say, "Well, why couldn't I have that?" And more often than not, it's because you've allowed failure to stop you. You allowed the failure to be something monumental. You allow the difficulty to become a major obstacle that stops you permanently and you've simply backed away in um, and quit. I mean, and the thing is, it's not as if there are difficulties that are very huge, you know, that, that seem, I mean, there are difficulties that seem like, well, how am I going to get, a, get, you know, get, because we, and this is, I'm trying to adjust my thoughts here. In many cases, we treat life like that military the military obstacle course. We come to that huge wall, and we look at the huge wall that we have to scale, and say, "How am I going to do that?" And the military thinking is, you just go over it, and that's it. And that, you know, you know, and you have the guy, my, 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 you know, the, 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 the drill sergeant, you know, pushing you forward, pushing you forward, you know, yelling at you, screaming at you, and that motivates you forward, and eventually you get over the wall. But if you are a thinking person, and you don't want to go over the wall, and sometimes there is no over the wall, you need to ask yourself, well, is there around a wall? Can you go around that wall? You know, why do you have to be on that, you know, if that obstacle course is this length, this width wide, and there's room around the obstacle course for you to move around it, why not go around the obstacle? I mean, this, this, to give an example of how this, in history, how this sort of thinking pops up, is all you have to do is look at, in uh, World War One. Uh, World War Two, uh, that sort of in between there, something known in the France had the, something known as the Maginot Maginot Line, and the Maginot Line was simply a wall of fortresses linked together. And they thought, oh yeah, you know, you know, the the Germans are going to get through this, and blah 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 blah. And they were thinking the Germans about you know going through and pe penetrating the wall. Well, that's not what happened. What happened? <laughs> the Germans went around the wall and attacked from behind. <laughs> And so what happens is that uh, oh, France was kind of invaded and taken over a second time by the Germans uh, in World War Two. Uh, I mean that was sort of you know when France was invaded in World War Two, they simply went around Maginot One, that this sort sort of impenetrable fortress. Here's this impenetrable this impenetrable fortress in front of you. What do you do? Oh, let's just go around it. <laughs> and that's what, that's exactly what the Germans did. Uh, <laughs> And, you know, you, there is no such thing as impenetrable. There's no such thing as impossible. There's always, if you think about it, if you sit, and this is not going to be an easy thing. If you think about it and you take your time to sort of go over things, uh, there is an around. There is alternative routes. So, <laughs> a fun bit of history for you. Anyways, our time is up. Uh, I will talk to you in the next segment. Uh, of the big BTS vlogs. See you then. Because we're probably going to go shopping anyway. So, <laughs> Anyways, see you later. It is just about 10 o'clock on May 21st. It's a Wednesday, May 21st. So this will do as an approximate uh, time and date stamp for the vlog. 
Anyways, I'm off. I was supposed to vlog yesterday as I walked. I went to do some extra shopping for the kitchen diner. I'm doing a second round of shopping now. Uh, just sort of fixing up. I'm getting to the point where I will film sometime this week. I'll do a uh, test episode uh, in the kitchen diner. Sort of uh, an introduction to everything. Well, let's kind of see how everything goes because there's still a lot of work to do uh, to sort of get the show ready. I don't know uh, exactly what the frequency of the episodes will be, but the fact that we're into a uh, we're getting to a uh, test episode is actually kind of a good thing. <sighs> Some of the things I'm going to get today will get the uh, summer menu started. Uh, is a change in the way uh, uh, I eat. Think uh, the way I eat. In other words, also those. <clears throat> not only is it a change uh, in the menu, but it's a change a little bit in the diet as well. Uh, that will allow me to uh, have better foods in terms of higher quality food and also a healthier diet. Now. I don't necessarily care about organic or whatever uh, because I look at the, uh, the way my aunts and uncles and the way they lived, which is basically a hodio lifestyle, a, a village lifestyle from Greece and Syria. And they're all very healthy, so uh, I think that's sort of the way I'm going to look at things is in that aspect rather than uh, you know spend an enormous amount of money on organics uh, organic food so now this is a lot cheaper than I know. I, I'm trying to figure out what a, uh, a cost point but right now it looks like about forty dollars a week uh, so not bad uh, but anyways I'm getting to the end of the street, getting to the point where I have to cross, so <sighs> let's see what I can think about afterwards and uh, I'll vlog some more. <laughs> Take it easy. Well, I got the shopping done I needed to get done. Uh, I didn't end up vlogging uh, when I crossed the street, so I'm vlogging on my way back. It's about... Uh, quarter to 12 right now so I uh, left my place at 10 it's quarter to 12 now that's uh, like an hour and a half yeah 11, 11 is one hour 11 30 is an hour and a half so yeah we're we're approaching the two hour mark so it'll be a two hour hike today uh, it took me about two hours yesterday so uh, the hike for the week will be just approximately four hours. Uh, the part part of the problem that I'm, that I'm having is that my body is coming out of winter. It still it is a little fatigued, so walking like this does uh, place an extra burden on the body, an extra um, strain. And I know tomorrow I'll feel it. And the other thing is I don't necessarily feel the fatigue, the, 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 the pain of uh, exercising until the day after. So <laughs> it takes a while for the body to recognize, hey, you've been exercising hard. Let's start to recover. So <sighs> they're getting more of the church done. So that's a good thing. Uh, the uh, work at the office, the work at the uh, uh, bringing the TV channel along is, is coming along. Uh, I've been able to fix up the graphics a little bit more. I'm re-uploading one of the videos. I make, made a mistake on one of the uh, on editing it. This is the Insta vlog. The Insta vlogs. Uh, the Insta vlog video for uh, the Bass vlog. Kind of made a mistake on it, so I had to redo it, re-upload it. And, uh, but that's kind of the cool thing is you can sort of leave things, uh, because it takes about three hours, 
And so by the time I get back, there'll be about an hour left in the upload. And uh, I would have, uh, you know, saved all that time. So I'm doing two things at the same time. I'm uploading and I'm shopping. So uh, it is, you know, how that's how you sort of make efficient use of your time. So I do have to do a lot more work on the channels. That's going to be happening over the next few months. Uh, and the thing is, it's going to be happening until we head into October, where we try to sort of uh, do our tests to go live. So, uh, anyways, coming to the street to cross, and that means uh, I have to pay more attention to what I'm doing, and can't vlog. All right, take it, out, take, take it easy. Figuring out what to say when you're on camera can often be a tricky thing to say, particularly when you're just turning it on. That's my, been my whole problem. Turn the camera on. Anything that you were planning to say kind of goes out of your mind and, well, you're left with the, uh. <laughs> But I've been sort of, I watch other people's videos. I watch other uh, documentaries and sort of speakers and whenever they're trying to think of a word that's when you hear the pauses that's where you hear the ums so i know i'm not alone in this in trying to sort of figure out okay well what's happening uh when i do the um and what's happening is i'm trying to figure out what to say next i'm trying to mull over my mind how to organize my thoughts and it, whether or not what i'm saying sounds good or not and there's also then after that uh i noticed that there are grammar issues if, 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 if you don't pay attention to what you're saying and sometimes that happens your thoughts sort of run away in your mind and you say things without necessarily hearing what you're saying it comes out wrong so uh, that's another thing I'm looking out for. Look, you know, for, uh, like, like, where, where's uh, the incorrect grammar? You hear them saying these ones. Well, you don't have to say these ones. It's either these or the ones over there. You know, as you make a gesture towards the items that you're talking about, or, or the objects you're talking about, because they could also be people too. <sighs> But this is kind of uh, practice for all that, and uh, that means, you know, if you can't get your mind in order, your thoughts in order, then it helps you when you need to speak publicly, you know, it, you've already had practice. This is, so this is practice for more serious, more significant things, if you will. So anyways. We're at the end of the street. There's sort of the, the back driveway for IBM. It means I have to cross the street. And I probably won't vlog uh, until later on. Well, probably tomorrow. So this will be the it, this will be it for uh, the BTS vlog for today. There won't be another segment. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you. Well, yeah, it's going to be probably in a couple hours. All right, see you. Democratic Earth. Earth.